so in the last session we saw how to create our header uh, itself now we'll see how to write the entire content of the body so firstly we had uh, we need to divide both the header and body uh, into two parts so and so for that we need to give one visual horizontal line yeah, uh, here so and how we can do that is um, after our entire header is done i'll just write one more comment like that so that we know where the header ends from the entire body itself and whatever we write, want to write outside the header we can write it here uh, from line 29 onwards so what, what we need to do is firstly we need to give a horizontal line and it's uh, it is done with the sim uh, name of the tag is hr with this tag it represents horizontal element and if I just uh, without writing any CSS if I just write HR and save refresh you see the one horizontal line here but let's uh, make it match uh, match it to the theme itself like uh, the coral part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give one more class to it just uh, as usual we have done for the other elements and I'm gonna call it uh, HR line anything anything is fine that doesn't really make sense just make sure to write the same uh, word here and what we are gonna do is uh, we are gonna give it a property of border uh, will give a uh, will make it more uh, it will make it look a little bit uh, thick as well and we can give it a color uh, in the one rule only so what we want to do is we, know, we first uh, is it uh, the border property takes multiple values firstly we'll tell it uh, how much width of border we want on all four sides we want it to be one pixel next we'll tell it to uh, what is the type of border we want it can be a solid one line it can be dashes uh, or anything else there are multiple border types we want it to be solid uh, so uh, I'll just write solid here and next we'll tell it the color of the border and we know our theme matches the coral color so I'll write coral here okay and if i just save it and refresh it there you go uh, the line gets a little bit more thickness and uh, it also gets the color okay now uh, now the hr line is over now we'll write our all the header uh, outside uh, again after this hr line the body sorry uh, and to do that we need to create one more table here because in the original section everything was li just like the contact details uh, it can be divided into multiple tables this can be one row this can be one column this is second column in the second uh, part work experience this can be one row this is uh, one row one column one column and so on and this is exactly how we are gonna uh, we are going to uh, represent our table so so to do that I'll just create the markup first with the table tag uh, inside that we will have uh, our first row here uh, so I'll just call it TR to create one row and inside that I have two columns one represents left hand side key keys like uh, experience education skills and so on and the right hand side which represents the values of those keys so we need two columns so I'll create two table datas okay uh, and then this will hold the header itself I'll write it in the all caps just to make it uh, make it look a little bit better uh, and inside this I'll just write some dummy text like like this okay if I save it and refresh it there you go now I have my uh, introduction part created of course this will be your original introduction not a dummy text in your when you are writing it yourself and this that's all you need to create the first row itself to create the second row for let's say work experience I'll give it one more comment called work experience to understand where we are going to write the work experience uh, it again it's a table with uh, this time we have two rows but I'll show you how it works so first let me just create a markup for the first row uh, this is it is will be same just like a uh, in the or, or, or the table above so I'll write it work experience and in the value part I'll write uh, any any dummy text is fine okay but if you see in the uh, this will just uh, look uh, same as it is but we don't want that in the work experience section we have uh, for that row we have three different again three different uh, properties 
first one is the heading where I work second one is the duration and third one is the value uh, uh, the the body of the experience what I did in the Google as an intern as an intern and similarly for Facebook uh, I have heading duration and uh, the body itself so that's let's divide this entire into instead of just writing the plain text we'll divide it into three different parts to create a section as usual we are going to use a div tag for header uh, this will be intern at google something like that for another section we'll have duration which will be march 2014 uh, to doesn't really matter to let's say june 2017 and after that another div for the dummy text i'll just copy it and paste it save refresh okay now we have the header we have the duration and we have the text and we want it one more time because this is this one is for google i have one more experience right uh, uh, we also worked at facebook apparently <laughs> so what we are going to do is we are just going to uh, we create we'll create one more row just like this here and for this part uh, i'll just create i'll leave in this column we again need two columns right but i can't write one more work experience here if i write it it will look something like this and i'm just gonna copy and paste both the columns itself as it is so right now both the rows are same but we don't want that we want this column to be left empty and just work experience part should be column uh, common for both of them right so what i'm gonna do is let me enable uh, borders again just to show you uh, how it looks okay so this is the one row this is second row this is first column this is second column and we we just want this part to be column common for both of them so what i'm gonna do is uh no nothing magic i'm just gonna delete the text that that we wrote here and if i refresh it now it's gone now if i remove the borders again it will look like that yeah html is that simple yeah so again uh, that this part is done and if you the next part the education part is exactly the same we have one heading we have one uh, left hand side we have the keys we have the heading we have the uh, the qualification what we did in the college and we have the uh, dummy text so we, what we can do is we can just entirely copy this section and paste it two times as it is and it will work so i'm just gonna write one more comment here uh, and, and i'm going to call it education you can write uh, skills or anything else you can even add your own sections that's just fine i'm going to copy the entire work section work experience table and i'm going to paste it here up uh, make sure it's before the body and just rename work experience to education uh, let me copy the original text this college name for higher education and text can be anything uh, next college names college names uh, for this uh, you can write master science anything is fine and demo text can stay as it is if i save it and if i refresh it now we have the both uh, education details as well and that's all for the markup part uh, just like uh, the the header uh, we divided it into multiple smaller parts and we just concentrated on writing the html part of it first uh, in the next section we'll see how to make it look uh, just like the original one uh, a lot more attractive than this one uh, that's all for now thanks Thank you.